Hi, this is Robin Sharma, the author of The Leader Who Had No Title, talking to you on Managerama TV. And I have one idea for you, which is you can lead without a title, you can work like Picasso, and you can make a difference regardless of your position in an organization. Well, I think, Annika, it begins with an idea. I mean, Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, an idea once exposed to, a, a mind once exposed to a new idea never regains its original dimensions. And so the main idea behind the new book, The Leader Who Had No Title, the main idea behind this conference here in Lausanne, Switzerland today, is the old model of leadership is dead. And we're now in Leadership 2.0. And so every person at work, whether they work in the mailroom, whether they answer the phone, whether they're the executive director, the managing director, we all can show leadership because leadership isn't about a title. Leadership is about a way of being. It's about innovating in your work. It's about doing Michelangelo quality work. It's about being inspirational. And it's about leaving other leaders uh, better than we found them. So with that idea and with that mindset, we can go to work and we can start showing leadership without a title. What makes a great leader without a title is not how you perform under perfect conditions. What demonstrates leadership is how do you perform when everything is falling apart? So I don't think you have to have perf a perfect environment, a perfect corporate culture to show leadership without a title or to do genius level work. I don't think, you know, you have to have the support of people around you to be the most positive person in the room. As a matter of fact, maybe we can be most influential and most inspirational as leaders without titles in workplaces and organizational cultures that are actually difficult places to work. I mean, I think of Gandhi. He said, you be the change you want to see in the world. He faced incredible struggle, but in the face of all that struggle, he demonstrated leadership. He demonstrated innovation. He demonstrated passion. He demonstrated integrity. He demonstrated excellence. So I would suggest we all have the opportunity to go to work every day regardless of the organization or the culture and lead without a title by doing these little things every day to, to make a bigger impact. So one of the examples I love is a man named Bert. Bert came to our office in Toronto and we were doing a renovation and he was installing the carpet. Now, most people go to work or they go to a job and they're a carpet installer and they say, well, I'm just a carpet installer. I can't work like Picasso painted. I can't be world class. And yet if you saw him, Annika, doing his work, OAD, obsessive attention to detail. He had such passion. He showed such pride for his work. I said, how long have you been installing a carpet? He said, 55 years. So he didn't have a title. He wasn't a manager. No one was watching. As I said today, leadership is about how you behave when no one's watching. But he led without a title. And why? Because I think few things feel better than the pride you feel on the job well done. And he will get to the end of his career. He'll get to the end of his life. And he'll say, I did work that mattered, even if he didn't get the applause from people around him. And I think that's a very powerful way to work. The first thing I would say to a manager is lead by example. The most powerful way to influence your team is lead the change. So if you are complaining, and by the way, the more complaints we recite, the more they become the way we see the world. We strengthen what we speak about. So if a manager is saying, well, my people are not engaged, I would ask the manager, how engaged are you? If a manager says, well, my people are not performing at world class, I would say, do you actually set the standard by your performance of world class? As I said today, if you're in business, you're in show business. When you get to work, you're on stage. So the first thing I would say to a manager is lead by example. Secondly, I would say to a manager, your job, your fundamental job is to shape human potential. How much time do you spend every day developing your team? I mean, the best leaders are great coaches. You know, they go to work, they say, I'm reading this book, here's what I learned. They find the time to find the employee who might be playing at mediocrity, mediocrity or that employee who might be discouraged. They sit down, they coach, they inspire, they develop, they champion, and eventually they, they start to make a difference. So the second thing, great leaders are great teachers. Third thing I would say, celebrate your team. 
know, people who are discouraged, they need to be celebrated. If this was so easy, why do so few b businesses do it? So get out there, celebrate with people. You know, your passion is really contagious. Celebrate them, elevate them, help them believe in the mission. I mean, you, you saw it today, people were saying, yeah, inspirational is very, I inspiration is important. Well, the best ones already do. I, I think the leaders who go to work every day and they, they're command and control, they say, I'm the manager or I'm the VP, so you better listen to me. Those are the leaders who will be obsolete. The best leaders already are people who do what I'm encouraging, who lead without a title. I mean, they are people who build human relationships. They are people who are playing at excellence. The best leaders are obsessive around the details. The best leaders do spend time thinking quietly about how they can they best create the most value for as many people as possible. So the best leaders in business right now are leading without a title. They are thinking about innovation. They are thinking about building world-class teams. They are asking themselves, how can I be ins inspirational? They are asking themselves, how can we improve our products and our services so literally people can't believe how great the products and services are. I think that's the bottom line opportunity, and that's really what The Leader Who Had No Title, my new book, is all about. It's about the choice we all have when we work every day, but also how we live every day. Are you going to play victim? Are you going to go to work and blame? Are you going to suffer from victimitis excusitis? Are you going to say, I can't make a difference because I don't have a title? Or are you going to make the leap to leadership? You know, I, I did a tweet the other day, which is, victims recite problems, leaders create results. And we all can lead without a title, and we all can show leadership. How do you do that? You go to work and you say, I'm going to drive innovation, I'm going to do genius level work, I'm going to inspire people, and I'm going to leverage my work and leverage my life to make a difference. So then when you get to the last hour of your last day, you'll say, I didn't waste my life. I didn't postpone my, my excellence, I made a difference. From, from audiences, you know, I mean, you saw the people in the room here today. We had people from so many different businesses, many of the Fortune 500, and to see their energy, to, to get their engagement, uh, and then also to know I'm making a difference in my way is very inspiring. When I was growing up, my dad said, son, you were born, when you were born, um, you cried while the world rejoiced, my dad said. He said, live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries while you rejoice. And the way I understand that, Annika, is when you find a purpose and you ask yourself, how can I most serve people and make a difference, then you get fueled not only with this acute sense of focus on your mission, but actually you do get a lot of energy. And that's really how I derive most of my energy. Mm -hmm.